Well, back here once again. So I'm not really sure what this video is gonna be. I'll probably just wind up running around with some random weapon. Actually, let me see. Do I have any like interesting looking blue? What the fuck is that? Do I own this? Oh no, I guess I don't have it. This actually really bothers me. Why does it show me blueprints that I haven't unlocked yet? That's so dumb. I'm just gonna run around with this random Sten blueprint because I mean, fuck it. Why not, right? Yeah, I don't know, dude. This game is in kind of a weird state at the moment. Like a new season just dropped and I feel like already nobody cares about it. I mean, that in and of itself isn't that surprising because like... Like, that used to happen in Cold War because everybody was so obsessed with Warzone for most of the year where like, you know, a brand new season would drop and it felt like nobody would really care about Cold War because everybody was just sitting on Warzone all the time. Oh my God, the recoil. And you know, it would usually take like a couple days for people to come around back to multiplayer and be like, all right, you know, let's check out this content. Let's get some levels on our new weapons or whatever. But that's the weird thing, right? This year, it feels like nobody cares about Warzone really either. Hello? Sure, man, whatever you say. But yeah, it's really odd. Like, nobody seems to really give a shit about season one of either this or Warzone. I mean, I haven't really been paying too much attention to Caldera, but I guess just because it's the same game over again, pretty much, huh? I mean, granted, this is just me speculating, of course. I've barely looked at any Caldera gameplay outside of, like, the day the game dropped, so I can't really say for sure. I mean, who knows? Maybe some of the changes that they made or whatever are just really bad. But anyway, like I was saying, this game is in kind of a weird state. Like, even all the content creators that I follow, it feels like a lot of people are just playing this game to play it, you know? And actually, in that vein, I've seen some people in the comments asking me to do, like, variety stuff instead of just spamming this game all the time. And honestly, man, I'm way ahead of you. To be honest, I don't really want to have to post this game all year long, especially if nobody cares about it, because, like, I mean, we're hardly into Season 1, and I barely want to play anymore already. I legit thought that that was a teammate. What was that? I, wait, did he just like blow himself up with thermite? What happened? Come on, dude. I don't even know, man. It's just like a fucking camp fest out here. I mean, hey, man, I'm not gonna blame skill-based matchmaking for the whole reason that nobody wants to play this game, but come on, Activision. I don't think you guys can deny that it's a factor. Guy's been fucking sitting in that crate the entire game. I'm so done with it. So yeah, anyway, I am planning to do some variety. One of you was asking me to do a campaign playthrough. I'll probably get to that this weekend, I think. I don't know if it'll go up this weekend, but that's probably when I'm gonna wind up recording it. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna edit something like that, because I think the campaign is what? Probably like seven, eight hours long or something. I don't know if I should do it in like parts. I don't know if I should do it like the way I normally do this with like my normal cut format, or I don't know, would people prefer to see more uncut gameplay? If you have a preference for what you'd like to see, definitely let me know in the comments, by the way. Yeah, this is a fucking thriller this game is. Holy shit. Dude, it's just spawning me in front of people repeatedly. I don't know what's going on. Thank God, get me out. I'm gonna operate under the assumption that my struggles with this weapon have to do with this shitty blueprint I'm using. Because I've seen more than one person absolutely shred with the thing, so... I don't know, either the blueprint sucks or I suck. To be honest, I probably suck. So yeah, anyway, Vanguard playthrough is gonna be a thing that I do, and then outside of that, I actually had a few Dota videos planned, one of which was supposed to happen today, but I'm not really sure what the deal with the content I was gonna play through is. It's like... So the first kind of video I wanted to do is something called an Overwatch review, where... Also so I don't want to play DOS House again. Basically, the Overwatch system in Dota is you get a whole bunch of players who've like been reported in game for a whole bunch of different stuff, like griefing, feeding, cheating, whatever the case may be. And basically, you as a player can actually go in and watch their gameplay, and then you get to determine if they're like guilty of what they were reported for. It's kind of neat and makes for some really funny content, so I thought I'd give that a try. But I don't know what happened. All the Overwatch cases that I was assigned have like disappeared from my in-game dashboard, and I don't really know why. But yeah, all of my Overwatch cases just like randomly disappeared. I don't know if there's like a time limit and like I didn't do them fast enough so the game took them away or something, but obviously I can't do the video until I actually get the cases back. So for the time being, that's going to be on hold. Another thing that I wanted to do is play through this like event mode that's going on right now. They have this like PVE mode in the game for the battle pass that they just added. And it's honestly pretty fun. It's pretty neat. So I was thinking about doing maybe a video or two on that. And then obviously I could also just do, you know, your standard gameplay video. But the thing with that, uh, I have lost an obnoxious number of Dota 2 games in a row recently, so yeah, not exactly all too keen to sit down, try and record that, and like, you know, remain calm throughout and all that good stuff. But that's another thing that's in the pipeline. Like I said, people seem not to really care about Vanguard, and I can't imagine that that trend will be changing anytime soon over the course of the year. I mean, I'm sure people will care more or less like here or there, depending on, you know, what's going on in the game and stuff, but I figure it would probably be a good idea for me to not 
the hell is that guy doing? I figure it would be a good idea for me to not plan to upload just this game for the whole year and, you know, branch out and do some other stuff. To be honest, I kind of want to use the Vanguard campaign playthrough as like a litmus test because there's a few games coming out this year that I actually really want to play. And if I can find a decent, you know, style for editing playthroughs that people seem to enjoy and I actually enjoy making, I might do playthroughs of some other games on the channel as well. You never know. XD, boys. Turning on the wall hacks. Let's go. Yeah, quit jumping, you fucking freak. Get out of here. Anyway, getting this video back on track a bit. Yeah, believe it or not, none of that was what I actually came to this video to talk about. I'm sure some people are probably gonna read the title, watch the first, like, five minutes or whatever of this video we're at now, and then just be like, what the fuck is he talking about? But anyway, there was an update that came out, I think it was either earlier today or at, like, midnight or something. I'm recording this at, like, 3 a.m., don't ask why. But the update was apparently to fix a whole bunch of stuff, and I didn't even know this was still broken, but it was to fix a whole bunch of stuff in regards to the atomic camo. I guess there were, like, a whole bunch of challenges and shit that were still not doable, I guess. Which is actually kind of nuts. I don't think any of the mastery camos have been bugged for this long. Because, like, just thinking back, I definitely remember playing Modern Warfare at this point in time in 2019, and I remember people already having Damascus in my games back then. What the fuck? Oh, boy. Gold shotgun and a riot shield. What an incredible player. Nice, bro, you really got me. Dude, the fact that you can die from a shotgun that far away is actually insane. Look at this shit. He didn't even ADS and I just died to that. But yeah, Damascus was definitely functioning at this point in time in 2019. And in 2020, I'm pretty sure you could get Dark Matter Ultra as well. Like, I don't think that camo was broken this long either. So, I mean, I'm sure that's probably part of what's killing people's interest in this game. It's just the fact that, like, I mean, the fucking camos don't work. The mastery camo doesn't work. I mean, there's content creators I've seen that have had the shit done. Quote, unquote, done anyway. Dude, man, this is probably another thing that's killing the game. Why are the shotguns this strong? Look at this. He doesn't even ADS, I wasn't even like fully over the stairs and he just fucking murked me with it. These guys are just running the most fucking brain dead classes I've ever seen in my life. Just have to play in the most like defensive fashion possible because I literally cannot challenge them. Man, I really have no idea why people don't wanna play or watch this game. I mean, seriously, what about this gameplay loop isn't engaging? I can't really fathom what the problem is here. I hate that I lost that game, I actually do. I know I normally say that I don't care about winning or losing in this game, but I am actually so upset that those fucking animals were allowed to win that game. That is insane. Like, just why? Why is this a thing? Like, what an actual fucking mess of a game, honestly. Anyway, getting back to the main point, I think some or most of the challenges that are busted have been fixed at this point. I'm not entirely sure what's left that hasn't been fixed because obviously I'm not exactly going for Atomic. I know I said I was like earlier in the year, I was going for Dark Ether and all that stuff. No, 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 no. I'm not playing with those people again. Fuck that. I saw that Sergeant Pepper guy with the shotgun. I am out. No, thank you. But yeah, Atomic, I mean, just the way this game is going, I honestly don't feel like having to play it that much. Although I probably should be playing it that much. I mean, I bought this fucking battle pass and I will see if I actually managed to complete that or not. And then yeah, for Dark Ether, I mean, honestly, I just don't want to have to play zombies that much. It's really not a good mode. Also, what the fuck? How did I just get a triple kill there? Oh my lord. They're all just spawning over there. What the hell? Yeah, I really should reg gun more often. This game is actually a lot more chill when I'm not losing my mind at how fucking bad the snipers are. I just jumped in and they all spawned around me. Dude, I can't handle this game. I just spawned on their team, I guess. All right. Oh, geez. No, their team spawned on me. What the hell is happening? Holy shit, dude. I don't know what's happening in this game anymore, man. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, if they ever add any kind of like round-based content or something that's actually fun to do in Zombies, I might wind up getting around to doing Dark Ether. but with the game in the state that it currently is, I have little to no interest in playing it that much. But I don't know. Also, it's kind of weird for me trying to make Zombies content because I feel like I don't really do anything, you know? Like, I feel like every video just kind of turns into 10 minutes, 15 minutes or whatever, uncut of me just talking about nothing. And this is back to Cold War as well. Like, this isn't even a comment on, you know, the current state of the game or whatever. It's just like zombies in general. I don't really ever know what to do. Also, completely unrelated, this is something that pisses me off. I don't know why so many weapons do this. I tried a YY and like randomly it just, like you see what it did right there? It just pulls the weapon all the way out and then I have to like wait for it to go back. Why does that happen? 
yeah, what an incredible play of the game this was. Look at that. They're just whole team fucking spawned right there. I think in one of the updates, it might not be the one that just happened. It might be one that happened a little while ago, but didn't they say in patch notes that they were fixing the spawn logic on shipment? Like, am I crazy or is that a thing? The reason I bring it up is I feel like that was almost worse than it was before. But anyway, that's about it for this one. Sorry if it was kind of all over the place. I am pretty much in your guys' boat. I don't really know what to do with this game right now. Like, I have diamond snipers. I'm gonna get diamond melee weapons, assuming that it gives it to me when I finish the katana. And then I don't really know. There's nothing else I really want to go for. Nothing else I really want to unlock just because, I mean, like some of these weapons, I just don't even feel like using in multiplayer. Like, but anyway, wrapping up the whole point that this video even exists, they fixed atomic camo, kind of. Although granted, I had no idea it was still broken, but you know, here we are. And yeah, for those of you who've been asking for variety, it's coming. I just need to figure out what I want to do as far as like editing it and stuff. And also recording can be a little bit tricky because obviously with a playthrough, I'm going to want to play more than like 20, 30 minutes at a time, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to come back for more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.